Hello, this is uh, Turk72, and welcome to Beretta Palooza. So today I'm going to highlight my Beretta collection, my uh, Beretta 80 series collection. And today we have two Beretta 84s and one Beretta 85. And I'll try not to bump the uh, tripod here. But um, this video should be pretty unique. I hope you enjoy it. And I think this is going to be the only video on YouTube to highlight both the blued and the nickel version of the Bread 84. And we will throw in a Bread 85 just for good measure. So I'm kind of tired of the, uh, the 380 market being dominated by mouse guns. Um, there are really no full size or, you know, closer to full size 380s that are circulating in the market right now. So I believe the Bread 84 was discontinued in 2012 or 13 and it might be coming back. But uh, these are fabulous guns. They're just wonderful pieces of art and they're, um, and they shoot very well, and they're still uh, small enough to conceal. Um, so, here we go. Without further ado, I'm going to highlight these. Um, I only uh, cleared one of them. But I um, just wanted to show you, this is my uh, latest pickup, is the Beretta 84 uh, Nickel. Uh, this one was clear. This uh, gun was... Uh, produced in uh, 19, no, I'm sorry, 2001. Um, this is a Bread 85, and this one is about 20 years old. Um, as you can see, it holds up very well. So this one also has the wood grips and the uh, the single stack magazine. And uh, here's my other Bread 84 in the blue edition. This one was made in uh, 2012. So again, they're all in uh, fairly good condition. Um, again, they're wonderful to shoot. Good thing about having multiple Berettas is, uh, you know, let's, let's say you're having a bad hair day. You're feeling a little less than sexy for some reason. Okay, this is all you need to do. All you need to do is do wield some uh, Berettas, and um, you're going to have a good day. Now, will this actually work holding, uh, you know, two Glock 34s? You know, I don't think so. Is it worth uh, spending uh, three to four hundred dollars extra over your average mouse gun to get one of these guns? Uh, hell yeah. Yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. So, um, again, these guns are real pieces of art. Um, again, the Bread 84, like the uh, 92, has the, uh, the open slide design. Uh, the safeties are very ergonomic. Again, they're right here. Push it down like that. Click like that. Very positive click. An open barrel design like the Brenner 92. Here's a slide release. And the, uh, and the safety is also a uh, decocker, so you flip it up. Again, very well designed, ergonomic uh, guns. Um, fabulous to shoot. Let me show you the Beretta 84 handle. Okay, it's very rounded. It's kind of like a combination revolver and uh, auto loader kind of type grip. It's very rounded, it's, it fits very well in the hand for medium sized hands. Now the Breda 84, I'm sorry 85, okay, that's a single stack, uh, kind of more rectangular, traditional rectangular type, but still has a, a rounded grip um, that fits very well in the hand. Again, this grip is suitable for either, you know, medium or small size hands. It's got the single stack eight round magazine. Uh, so the Bread 84s 
have uh, 13 round magazines. Again, mine are neutered for California, but uh, still doesn't stop me from uh, picking up these uh, beautiful guns. So I'm not sure which one I like better between the uh, the nickel and the uh, the blued. Um, I guess I might like the black one a little bit better, but um, I do like the sights a little bit better on the nickel one. It's the red contrast. Here you kind of got the um, white that you kind of have to overlap. So uh, sights are a little more a little more pleasant on this one. Uh, otherwise, it's very hard to choose. So, um, I think I'll leave it at that. Let me know what you think of these guns. Again, of course, you're not going to find these at a rental market anymore, but if you got a chance to fire one of these, uh, definitely do what you can to, to take it. Find someone that has one, you know, drive over to my place, whatever. Um, yeah, these are wonderful uh, guns to shoot. Still small enough to conceal. Uh, one thing I did find out is they do have some sharp edges like this right here on the slide and it's kind of pointy in some areas. You kind of need um, a Kydex or hard holster for these um, if you're going to carry them for longer than a couple hours. Um, a soft holster might uh, get to be kind of annoying after a while. So um, uh, you know, other than that, these are fabulous guns. Um, the slides are a little bit hard to pull back. There's not a lot of grip service here. Um, if you have a, if you have limited arm strength, these might not be the best guns for you. The mag magazines are a little bit uh, difficult to load, uh, but otherwise, these are. Great, great guns. Definitely my favorites. Um, yeah, and this one is this one is called Hallie. That's the uh, the Black Beauty. And uh, this one is called Nikki because she's nickel. Again, just uh, you know, do wield some bread eighty fours, and you're definitely gonna have a good day. So uh, that's it for uh, Beretta Palooza. And I'll catch you next time on the Trick 72 channel.